Hello YouTubers and welcome to Gizzy Greenfingers and his Weeping Willow. Now this is the part five, the fifth instalment and we've just got a few more finishing touches to do to this tree for the winter because spring is fast approaching and you'll see that from the buds on the tree. Now I've got my beady eye on this branch here. Yes, it's a little bugger and it needs to be rewired. Now I've had this tree two and a half years and I've been wiring and cutting the wire off, wiring, cutting the wire off, wiring, cutting the wire off. Why? Because that's how I roll. That's why. But alas, if you leave the wire on too long, you will damage the branch and you may even lose that entire branch. Now, how do I know? Because I've lived it. Yes, I have lived it. And I've lost a couple of big branches on this species, specimen. Specimen I have, and it broke my heart. But I'm here to rectify all the balls apps. So why am I cutting my wires? Because I find it the best way of not damaging the tree, personally. So that is why I cut the wires. It's just easier, and it's a lot easier to rewire, and especially this time of year, when it's starting to bud out. We are in February. You can see just there, if I just zoom in a little, you'll see where the wires just started to pinch in. And I rewired this just at the end of um, autumn. So, do you know what I mean? Just at the end of autumn, when it was getting cold, and it needs rewiring. So that is why I have rewired the whole tree, nearly. This is part five, don't forget. I expect you're getting bored of these videos, but like I said, it's it's just to document it for myself, really, just to see the stages of how it's coming along. So I've taken that wire off now, so I'm using a four millimeter because that is what I'm going to need for this this branch reconstruction. You see, because I'm trying to bend it in quite a quite a different angle than what it is so it's going to need something with a little bit of oomph and you just take your time when you're using big wires like so because it is a big wire and you can damage the branch if you're not familiar with the wiring process and don't for one minute think I am because I'm not I am an amateur amateur with big dreams big dreams indeed but I can't see anyone else doing a corkscrew willow in this sort of form I've not, not seen that yet it'd be nice to see someone else doing videos like this let me know if you see anyone it'd be nice to see their their specimen and examples so I've just got the end to do on this branch with this four millimeter and I did knock off one of the nodes we're not all perfect are we we're not all perfect and now it's time for the bending and that is the crucial part of this whole exercise you've got to bend that right in the shape so that looks natural and epping epic that is the word of the evening, epic, epic woods. Uh, that's it, that's good. So, I've just got to wire these little ones after I've sorted this initial one out. Now, like I said, we're in February now, it's starting to bud. This, these wires will probably not stay on that long, depending on how crazy it goes, but it's starting to get rigid. Uh, two and a half years later but it is working and this section here is 
is amazing. I love it. I love how that has turned out. I can't wait for spring. I can't wait to see how this is going to look. Just the green leaves and it's, it will look epic. It really will, if I do say so myself. But make up your own mind. Make up your own mind. You just have to subscribe and wait till spring has sprung and see what happens. So for these smaller branches, I'm using a one millimeter wire. Now it looks like it's a copper wire, but it's not. It's actually an aluminium wire with a copper finish. Yeah, I just thought it would look better with the way the tree is because it gets these red branches come this time of year and it just blends in a lot better than the black wire, I think. It's just a personal choice, really, but it's my choice and it's a bloody good choice. So we're just, what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting the end of that wire off. Like so, see that? That looks good, doesn't it? Just bend it into its final position and then I think we do this one next. But look, it's, you can see what the wire's done previously, it's keeping it down, so it's great. It is doing exactly what I want. Now, this is something I don't really like, where, where you're mixing your wires with other wires. I don't like that, but I just don't have an option. Or maybe there is, but I'm an amateur and I don't know it. But this is working for me, but you've got to keep your eye on it. Because if you take your eye off the ball, it's going to eat into that wire and then you're going to have problems with that branch later on. Trust me, I know, I've lived it. So, if you've got the time to do something like this, you need to keep your eye on the ball. Capiche? So, you YouTubers, it's been five instalments, but I think that is the last wire to be wired for the winter. But it's nearly spring. So that, we wire. Now, some of these branches have got, like, die back on. And I just want to cut them off because they look crap. So we're going to wrap this up, YubiTubers. If you have enjoyed watching this, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And I do hope you'll come back and watch what she looks like come spring. Now I'm going to leave you with the finished article. Ta-da for now. Gives you green fingers.